The Starship's fifth flight was a massive success for SpaceX, and it single-handedly represented one of the biggest leaps forward in terms of sustainable and reliable future for space exploration. In fact, the launch was so incredible that the FAA and SpaceX are working extremely fast to get ready for the Starship's sixth flight, with some estimates saying that it'll happen as soon as next month. So, let's tackle these rumors and estimates as well as discuss everything you need to know about Starship's sixth flight. As you might imagine, SpaceX has already started preparing their Starship and Super Heavy booster for the next flight. However, what you might not have known is that these preparations were already underway even before Launch 5, as SpaceX was already extremely certain of their capabilities of succeeding at that respective mission. Just a reminder, Flight 5 was an incredibly important milestone for the future of space exploration as SpaceX achieved the unimaginable, which is catching the Super Heavy booster, making it truly reusable. Now, for Flight 6, this booster will not be used, as SpaceX instead opted for the Starship 31 and the Booster 13, both of which had the same changes and preparations made as in the case with the Flight 5 Starship 30 and Booster 12. This included reworking the thermal protection layer, which literally fell apart and disintegrated during Flight 4 during re-entry, damaging the Starship in the process. Now, sure, Starship 29 wasn't badly damaged, and the ship successfully re-entered the atmosphere and landed, but Elon Musk didn't want to leave anything a chance and decided to improve it as much as possible. This included all new ceramic tiles in combination to a backup ablative protection layer, especially around the flap areas, which were the most compromising ones. This drastically improves heat resistance and all but ensures the ship's survival during re-entry. Now, with that out of the way, it's time for us to take a look at what to expect from Flight 6. Despite Flight 5 being such a big bite for SpaceX and despite them succeeding at everything they planned for it, Starship's sixth flight won't be as ambitious. Or, dare we say, it won't be much more ambitious than its predecessor. You see, what SpaceX intends to do with the sixth flight is concretize everything they've achieved up until now and allow them to fully assess their current position as well as check and confirm all the techniques and technologies they've used and developed so far. This will allow them to assess if all these technologies and techniques will be ready for Elon Musk's extremely ambitious idea for the future of the company. This means that you shouldn't expect any new radical or drastic improvements and achievements here, as SpaceX is aiming for a suborbital trajectory with the Starship, which will allow them to focus more on refining the ship's descent capabilities and allow them to control it better during them. In addition to that, SpaceX will once again catch the Super Heavy booster just like they did previously and confirm in the eyes of skeptics as well as their own that they are, in fact, capable of performing such sophisticated actions. And by they, we mean both the booster and SpaceX's personnel. In addition to that, they will also focus more on the engines, the stage separation and the landing, allowing them to micromanage everything that is happening with Starship and understand better if there are any areas that need fixing and improving. Practically speaking, think of the Flight 6 as a regular control exercise for SpaceX, like the ones we all had during our school days. They've completed this chapter of their spaceship development, and now it's time to put everything to the test and see if they're ready for proceeding onwards. So, with that in mind, when can we expect the launch to happen? As of now, SpaceX has yet to confirm the launch date for Flight 6, however, everything seems to point to the fact that we might be getting it as early as late November. Yes, that's right, in a month or less. Now, we have to stress that this hasn't been confirmed, and that SpaceX has yet to officially come out and address their plans for it. However, since the FAA already approved SpaceX the license for Flight 6, alongside with the five Alongside with the Flight 5 approval, and since SpaceX is all but ready already for the launch, we wouldn't be surprised by having a launch this early, and it is absolutely plausible and believable of a scenario. 
That said, what is also possible is that SpaceX will push this flight further to December, as it would mean that they won't have an ad hoc approach towards the sixth launch, and will result them in having more time and space for precise assessment of all the little details that they need to take in. But all in all, we do believe that it will happen earlier than 2025, which brings us to the final question for today, and that is, what this means for the future? Well, quite a lot actually. You see, even though the sixth flight in itself won't be anything special, what will be special is the fact that with it, SpaceX will wrap up the first chapter of Starship flights and will be then ready to continue with even more sophisticated and ambitious ideas and tests for this entire project. In fact, it is highly likely that with the completion of Flight 6, SpaceX will then move forward and work towards creating a reusable Starship, which translates to them trying to catch the ship in the next two flights. This would make sense as, as we mentioned before, SpaceX will be paying more attention to the Starship's descent capabilities with Flight 6, which means that they intend to use them more precisely very soon. In addition to that, what is also sure to happen is SpaceX going for a full orbital readiness with the Starship, meaning that they will be coming closer and closer to a full orbital test, allowing the ship to achieve a complete orbit around Earth. As a result of this, Flight 7 is expected to happen in the first quarter of 2025, most likely February or something like that, meaning that the flight schedule for the Starship is about to get quite a bit more crowded than before. These tests, when completed, will practically mean that the Starship will be ready for its first deep space test and missions and albeit we're still quite a bit away from that status, it's nice to know that we're getting there much faster than initially expected. And what do you think? Is Flight 6 gonna happen in November or are we gonna wait for December for it to happen? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. Also, tell us your thoughts for the profile of this flight. And while you're there, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel.